my case is 2025 aspirant so your exams are over right now what is the next process how do we get into our dream college so between your writing of exams and uh, publishing of results and getting into the colleges there is one big important process in between which is called as counseling process so many students do not have an idea what is this counseling process how does it happen so in this video we are going to do a brief introduction about what is counseling process what is the purpose of this one what is the eligibility what is the overview of this process so everything i am going to discuss in detail so if you are an aspirant of like if you have already written the case 2025 examination then this video is definitely for you so let's see what all things we have here so first of all we will be talking about what is case aid counseling what do you mean by case aid counseling who conducts it then what is the purpose of this counseling what is the eligibility expected timeline i'll be telling you counseling process overview i'll give you documents required and some tips for choice filling now you might not understand what is choice filling but yes once i explain the process you will be clarified with what is choice filling and the tips for that so first of all let's see what is case aid counseling so it is a, a centralized process for seat allotment now see thousands of students almost 3 lakh students have given the case aid examination and which student will get which college how do we determine that so to the process that is required here or the process that is used here to give seats to the students is called as your counseling process okay or it is a process that helps you or helps the students to get their dream college and their dream seat now who conducts it it is connect, conducted by kea that is karnataka examination authority and it applies to engineering pharmacy agriculture and all other professional courses in karnataka so whatever uh, courses or exams that are under kea all that will be done by this cross counseling process now let us see what is the purpose of this counseling so that allocate seats based on the merit case at rank okay so suppose a student has got very good rank then he or she must deserve a top college and the student has not got a very good rank then he or she does not deserve a top college or some mediocre college they want right they will be getting so this process of getting seats in the colleges based on your rank is through counseling process next it ensures the transparent and fair admission process there it ensures that there is no cheating here no corruption here fair and uh, like process is there where based on your merit based on your rank you will be getting the colleges if you have got good rank you will get top college if average rank average college right and it helps the students to choose their branches and college suppose i am i have got a very good rank okay i am eligible for rv college also bms college also i am eligible for so many colleges i want ece in uh, bms or i want cs in rv right so based on my choices my dream college what i want i will be able to do that through this counseling process right so the kea is not sitting like okay you have got this rank take this college you are sitting here take this college your rank is this one take this college it's not like that students are given an opportunity to fill their preferences okay what colleges i wish what rank i have got i will be filling a choices and now based on my merit weight based on the vacancies i'll be getting a seat this whole process is called as counseling process so it is a very very important process a process that will help the students to get their desired college right now talking about the eligibility so all the students who have qualified the case at 2025 examination they have the valid case at score card and have also qualified the pu2 examination and you if you have the domicile and reservation criteria whatever is there based on your category if you have all these three uh, requirements then you are eligible for the counseling process next what is the expected timeline so this is something i have taken from my guessing and from the last year data okay so it is not a solid one or it is not given in any official website this is just an expected timeline so i'm giving you you should be prepared according to these dates but once the kea gives you the official dates i'll be announcing it in our channel so please do follow our channel but this you can just have a rough idea so first there will be a notification release that okay counseling process is starting we are expecting that after the uh, results are out so maybe in the first first week of may uh, sorry first week of june next we have online registration and fee so for counseling process you have to do the registration that may be between 5 to 15 after that there will be choice filling so here you have to enter all your choices okay which all colleges which all branches you want you have to do the proper 
choice filling okay so that may be you will be getting around 10 days for that then after your choice filling is done then one mock allotment will take place means okay according to what you have filled which college which branch you are getting that is a mock allotment will take place next we have first round allotment so this after mock round allotment again you will get a chance to change your uh, choice entry and then a final allotment will take place and then you have to report to the college now this uh, choice uh, allotment it takes in two three rounds okay first allotment takes place again you have an option to uh, like those students who did not get any seat in the first round okay they will go to the second round third round so like this three rounds are there i'll make a detailed video on these rounds in another video this is just a introduction what about what is counseling process so that you are not completely unaware of it okay so that is the purpose of this video so i'll make a detailed video on this how many rounds are there how many choices are there after the round so that all things i will discuss in a separate video okay so this is the basic process next what will happen the counseling process overview i want to tell you so first as i told you there is a registration then you have the payment of fees the registration fees you have to do then you have to put all your choices then there will be a mock allotment then you can based on the mock allotment you can you will be given a chance to edit your choice filling once you ch edit you then you will be having the final allotment then this final allotment takes in three rounds okay and after that once you have got your desired college or if you are satisfied with the college that is allotted to you you can go do the verify documents and continue to the admission to the college okay next if i talk about the documents required so there will be a lot of documents required but these are some basic documents that every admission every college will be requiring so you have to keep them ready so first one will be your kset rank card and your kset admit card 10th and 12th mark sheets sslc and pu 12 passing certificates domicile certificate and if you have any caste or any reservation that certificate passport size photographs and your id proof like aadhar card or 12th mark sheet and all these are the basic thing and if you have any other reservation or any category category based documents will also be required okay now if i talk about okay so this is the thing just a minute yes okay now here i want to give you certain tips for choice filling okay so i have missed that but i'll be writing here so tips for choice filling you have to have an idea that after your results are out you have to have an idea that which all colleges cut off are near your rank okay so you have to what you have to do you have to analyze analyze the last year cut off okay it is there in the official website of kea and in our channel also we have made videos on cut off you can watch that so you have to have an analysis of the last year cut off then you have to have a list of list of all colleges and branches list of all colleges and branches that you want to that you that you desire okay now on that list okay which colleges cut off is near your rank which colleges cut off is near to your rank you have to segregate those colleges and then you have to arrange them according to your preference okay so these are some basic things and i'll be making a detailed video on this also how to do the choice filling and all it is a very very critical process remember how the 50% was attempting the exam and getting the marks and the rest 50% is how do you do this choice filling many a students have got very good ranks but due to poor choice filling they have failed to get a very good college similarly on the other hand if you do choice filling properly with cleverly and with a proper strategy then you can even get a very good college with a lower rank okay so this is all the game of counseling so you should be very thorough with the cut off so please do not waste your time just see you might be knowing uh, like by now the pu marks are also out your case at answer key is also out so you can have a rough idea of how much marks you are getting and based on that mark how much rank you will getting you can have a rough estimate and just start selecting those colleges and 
branches where your cutoff matches okay so that's what you can do at this point of time so that during counseling process you don't have any uh, like time to waste you can immediately start the process okay so that's all in this video students and i hope this video was helpful and have cleared all your doubts if you have any further doubt please do comment down i'll definitely address to it okay thank you for watching and all the best for your kset 2025 counseling process